Okay, two capacitors C1 and C2 are connected in series and charged with 4 volt battery as shown in the figure below. Calculate the total capacitance for the circuit above. Okay, so want to find the total capacitance, okay, which is a C equivalent, yeah? Uh, okay, so what, uh, what information given here is uh, we have the V total, this is the V total. And then this one is in series. Okay, in series, we know that uh, one thing uh, about series, the voltage is added up. Uh, V1 plus V2 uh, equal to V total. Right? Um, okay, first of all, let's uh, find out about this uh, total capacitance. Yeah, question A. So question A, uh, capacitor in series. So series, uh, we know that uh, if capacitor in parallel, make the capacitor stronger. So if series must be make the capacitor become smaller. Okay, uh, yeah, capacitor in series becomes smaller. So it's 1 over C, uh, 1 over C. So use the formula 1 over C, 1 over C total or C equivalent, 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Okay. So uh, 1 divided by the C1 is uh, 3 microfarad and then C2 is 6 microfarad. Okay, uh, and then uh, let's calculate, let's calculate the answer, yeah? Okay, so 1 divided by 3 plus uh, 1 over 6, so I got uh, 1 over 2. Uh, 1 over 2 micro, yeah? So, but is this the answer? No, this is not the answer yet, yeah? This is not answer yet. So, it is, uh, this is still 1 over C. Uh, you, to find the C total, you have to invert it. Uh, you have to invert it, yeah? So, inside, uh, you have to invert this 1 over, uh, up 1 over 2 micro. And uh, finally, only you get so uh, one divided by answer. So it's uh, two microfarad. Uh, that's the correct answer. Yeah, two microfarad. Okay, is that correct? Yes, two microfarad. That's correct. Yeah. So later, uh, let's look at B. Uh, B. Uh, charge on each capacitor. Yeah. So we want to find the charge on each capacitor. So uh, each capacitor, that means uh, we need to find uh, yeah, Q1 and Q2, yeah? Q1 and Q2. So we want to find charge on each capacitor, the charge here and charge here. Uh, we know that capacitor in series, they have the same charge, isn't it? Uh, capacitor in series, they have the same charge. Total charge equal to charge 1, total equal to charge 2. Uh, so uh, we can, okay, question B. We know that the total charge is equal to charge 1, uh, equal to charge 2. Yeah? This, all these are in, because in series, series, yeah? Series, ca in ca the capacitance series, uh, the charge is equal, yeah? Charge 1 equal to charge 2, equal to charge total. But we don't know the charge total, uh, so we need to find the charge total first. That's why I say, it's always, you always find, the, the flow of work is always like this. Yeah, the flow of work is always like this. Always uh, look for, find the C total. Okay, later on, you will need to find the charge total or V total. Later on, only you find the individual charge. Uh, yeah, individual charge, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, or V1, V2, V3, V4. Understand? Uh, so it's always like this. So the first step is always find this, the C equivalent. Then only get this one, then the following, yeah? The first step is always find the C equivalent, okay? Then only find the charge and voltage. So you need to find the total charge already because you already got the C total, okay? So uh, how are going to do that? Uh, we have the V total also, okay? So we use the formula Q equal to CV, uh, Q equal to CV. So remember, uh, this one is total, total, total. All right, it's all total. Um, okay, so continue. Um, C total is two micro. Okay, 
C total is 2 microfarad and V total is 4 for volt. And I get uh, 8. Uh, 8 microcoulomb. Uh, so, uh, why is it not coulomb? What is microcoulomb? Because you have micro here. See that? You have micro. So, be careful. Okay? Uh, you have a micro coulomb. It's not just coulomb. So, you got the Q total already. And because uh, in series, the charge is equal. Right? Uh, the charge is equal. So, I can say this is... Uh, this is also equal to uh, Q1 equal to Q2. Uh, so, I got the answer already. Q1 and Q2, they are equal because they are in uh, series. Uh, uh, the Q total is the Q total is equal to Q1 equal to Q2 because they are series. All of them are value. 8 microcoulomb. All of them have the same charge. 8 microcoulomb. So that's the answer. Charge only capacitor. 8 microcoulomb. 8 microcoulomb. That's correct. Okay. All right. Now let's move on to question C. Yeah. Question C. Now I want to find the uh, potential difference across each capacitor. Now I want to find the voltage. Uh, voltage across each capacitor. That means, um, you know, uh, to find the uh, V1 and V2. Uh, as I told you, we always uh, find the C total, then only we get the Q total or V total, then only the last step is to find the uh, individual charge and individual voltage. You see that? The flow of work. Uh, okay, now we want to find the V individual. So, how are we going to do that? So, you need, we need to use this relationship. Uh, Alright, actually, we also got the uh, Q1 and Q2 already, isn't it? We got the Q1 and Q2 already. So, uh, we can find the V1 and V2 because we already got Q1 and Q2. Just use the formula Q equal to CV. Since we have Q total, C total, V total, we also can have, we also can have uh, Q, uh, you know, we also can have Q1, C1, V1. Uh, okay? Uh, we also can have uh, Q to CV. Uh, we can have uh, Q2, C2, V2. Uh, we can have this also. We already have Q1 and Q2. So we can also have uh, V1 and V2. Uh, use the formula Q to the CV. Very easy. Alright. So uh, Q1 is um, 8 micro coulomb. 8 micro coulomb. Uh, my 8 micro, I just put 8 micro there. Micro is important. You must write the micro because micro has a value. Exponent negative 6 there. Yeah, has exponent negative 6. So you must carry the micro with you. Okay. And then the capacitance also. Capacitance is, uh, capacitance 1 is uh, 3 micro. Uh, so you must carry the micro also. Yeah. Because it's a value, you know. It's a value you must carry with you. Uh, you cannot just make the micro disappear away unless you make it into a value, exponent negative 6. Okay? If you don't make it into a value, you must uh, carry the micro with you. Yeah? Okay, micro is there and uh, I can find V1. Uh, so, so, my micro can be cut off. Okay? And I got my V1. I got my V1. So, uh, my V1 is uh, 8 divided by 3. So, it's... Uh, 2.67 volt. Ah, my micro is being cut off. Micro is being cut off, so no more micro. So it's 2.67 volt. And how about um, Q2? How about Q2? Sorry, Q2. Q2 is um. Okay, Q. Uh, no, V2. I need to find V2. Okay, but I also have the Q2. Q2 is the same as 8 micro coulomb. Okay, 8 micro coulomb. So I put 8 micro there. Uh, C2. C2 is um, C2. C2 is uh, 6 microfarad. Okay, 6 microfarad. Just put 6 microfarad. So we have V2 here. Okay, V2. So uh, I can uh, cancel the micro here. See? And then uh, 8 divided by 6. So. It's a one point. Oh, uh, answer is a one point three three one point three three volt. 
Ah, so so uh, this is V2. Uh, we got the answer already. Is it correct? V1, V2. That's correct. That's the answer. Okay. Uh, if you want to look at uh, uh, this V total, uh, we know that for series circuit, the V total is added up. V1 plus V2, isn't it? Or plus V3. Uh, V1 plus V2 plus V3 equal to V total. That's a series capacitor. The voltage is uh, plus, plus, plus. Okay. So uh, let's try and add up. Okay. Let, let's try and add up and see if this V total, because this is in series. Yeah. Because it's in series, the, the voltage is uh, plus, plus, plus. Okay. So uh, V1 is 2.67. And V2 is a 1.33 volt. And you plus to get plus and see plus the 2.67 uh, and plus the 1.33. Ah, uh, you get is you get 4 volt. Ah, uh, you get back the V total. You see that? You get back the V total, 4 volt, 4 volt. Ah, uh, so this verify that my answer is correct. The 2.67 and 1.33 is correct. Okay? Uh, add up together is 4 volt. Uh, forward so it's correct okay so uh, that's the theory yeah theory of it now the lastly i want to find the energy store in each capacitor energy store that means uh, i need to find the u energy store u1 and u2 so what's the formula what's the formula we have a selection of formula we can use actually for question d energy store is actually you can have several formula you can have half qv Energy store and capacitor can okay, half QV or half uh, CV square or half or half Q square over C. Uh, so you see that uh, my the notes okay. Uh, the energy store is half Q square over C, CV square or half QV. Uh, that's the energy store in capacitor. Yeah, half QV, half CV square or half Q square over C. So okay so let's uh which formula going to use uh we have the you know we uh just use half qv or half cv square maybe we just use half uh anything yeah maybe i just use half cv uh half qv okay maybe i just use half qv or yeah half cv square i am more comfortable with half cv square we have with the capacitance you know the capacitor actually any formula can be used i just use half cv square yeah? so um okay so u1 is equal to half uh c uh c okay so if u1 make it great so u1 then this is c1 v1 uh okay if uh u2 uh, sorry i write back the formula uh half cv square so then this one must use uh, U2, uh, C2, V2. Okay, remember the correct, correct uh, subscript. Yeah, correct subscript. So C1 is uh, C1. What is C1? What is C1? Uh, C1 is uh, 3 microfarad. Okay, 3 microfarad. So remember to put the micro together because uh, micro is a value. Exponent negative 6. Okay, voltage of V1 is 2.67 square. And then, okay, so what's the answer? Yeah, 2.67 square times uh, 3 exponent negative 6. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I, this one I change. This one I change to value. Uh, this micro is actually exponent negative 6. Uh, exponent negative 6, this, this micro here. Okay. Uh, so uh, and then multiply point half okay so i get the answer the answer i get is uh, uh 1.069 1.069 1 exponent negative 5 joule okay that's my answer and then how about u2 energy stored in uh, capacitor 2 so this one must use uh, c2 c2 is uh, 6 microfarad 6 microfarad, uh, 6 micro. So 6 micro, and then uh, this voltage is, uh, this V2 is uh, 1.33, 1.33, uh, and then, uh, okay, so let's calculate, yeah? 
let's calculate 1.33 square times 6 exponent negative 6 and multiply by half okay uh, remember this one i changed to the exponent negative 6 uh, i changed to exponent negative uh, 6 so i get the value uh, it is uh, 5.31 5.31 exponent negative 6 joule okay uh, so that's the answer am i right uh, 1.07 exponent negative 5 joule that's correct what 5.3132 exponent negative 6 joule that's correct okay so uh, that's it for this question okay i hope you understand and okay see you again bye